on YouTube. Welcome back to yet another quarantine edition build. I am one third of the trio of terror. Go visit my buddies, uh, the Weird Kids Show channel and Vic Springston channel. We're doing daily updates, vlogs, just to keep everybody busy and keep their minds off of the news and all the panic and terror that's going around. It's just stupid. So we want this to be your daily respite. We got every day we're doing little projects or something for you guys until we get through these things together and life goes back to normal as we know it. So right now, life for me is building hands. I was working on my grave digger. I got to come up with a pair of hands for them. And I was looking around on Amazon, and I bought these hands for 10 bucks. They are latex foam-filled hands. This one's not so bad, a little puffy. Uh, this one's even worse, has a malformed thumb that's not even really there, and most of the finger is gone. So I guess it's what you get for $10. Those are garbage. What I'm going to do today is make my own hands. I can fix it. I want to get a block of wood, old scrap wood, we all got it laying around. Yeah, it's like a 1x4, 1x6, whatever it is. And 5-gallon bucket handles. Come on, guys. Every haunter, if you guys have got 5-gallon buckets laying around, easy stuff to get. So today, I want to build a good set of hands, and this is the way I'm going to do them. Um, everybody may do them a little different, and then I'm going to throw some options out there for everybody. So let's get building. Okay, so first and foremost, what I did, I took my hand, maybe a nice pattern of my palm, went ahead and traced it out and did it on some thick cardstock. I will uh, save this. You've only got to do one hand because you can flip it over and make your left hand. So these work for either lefty or righty hands. So you can make a bunch of blanks up and put them how you want them. So I went ahead and traced out my palm. I was happy with that. Went ahead and traced it onto a piece of wood. Like I said, a little piece of scrap, one by four, whatever. I cut it out. So I've got uh, a little hand jigsaw. These little guys are worth their weight in gold. It's like a little $30 tool, a tool that everybody should have in their uh, little arsenal. And then I went ahead and cut those out, like I said, and I made palms. Uh, these are, are cut to go into one inch PVC. That's what I use for all the frames of uh, all my uh, structures. You might want to change yours different. You can go into wood or PVC and I'll run a screw through there to make it uh, tight where I want it. You could kind of tilt it a little bit, you know, put it where you want it, uh, shave it down. Really how you mount your hands is up to you depending on how you're going to use them. So these are going to be for my uh, grave digger. I've got a lefty and a righty. Now I know in Mortimer's left hand, he's going to be holding a lantern. So after I cut these out, I went ahead and rounded off all the edges with a grinder. And you could do it with 80 grit, um, doesn't matter, or an angle grinder, or uh, just to kind of rough that shape out and smooth it out a little bit. Don't have to be perfect. But since I know that Norbert is going to have a left hand holding a lantern, uh, I shave a lot more off of his thumb because his finger is going to be in a down position. So basically, once you got your palm sections done, uh, we're going to get to the finger part. So I got my lefty and righty. Five-gallon bucket handles. These guys are thick, sturdy wire. They're, uh, they bend pretty easy. You can bend them with a pair of pliers. They bend pretty easy. They cut pretty easy. Let's see. So with a pair of pliers, you can bend them. Um, you can use thicker wire if you want. If your props would be holding something heavy, I would definitely go to heavier gauge wire. But a pair of little side snips cuts it right off. Um, we're going to use these as the fingers. So what I plan on doing is taking my drill. I've got a, um, a 5 30 seconds bit in here. About an inch deep is all you really want to go. I want to drill four finger holes in and then one thumb hole. And since this is his uh, right hand, I know his hand's going to be resting on a shovel. So my hands or his fingers are going to be in a down position. So I'm going to go ahead and drill my holes in. I could probably just go right to the bottom, I guess. I'm going to do this. For this hand, I'm going to put my holes right to the bottom. So I'm going to mark these out. Uh, see I'm gonna do one two three four all right so I'm gonna mark these out I'm gonna drill through them and then uh, I'll show you guys when I come back with we'll start cutting fingers all right so we got our hands all drilled out I went ahead and lied to you I'm gonna do these fingers straight out because they'll end up bending over a shovel uh, Mortimer's left hand which is holding the lantern I did straight up and down a little bit of an angle um, because I know his fingers are going to be uh, wrapped around an, a lantern. So I've got the palms basically ready to go. They stab into my one inch PVC, so I'll be able to mount these right on his form um, that I have already uh, done for him. 
So my next thing is, I'm going to get my fab gallon bucket handles, and I just want to kind of start straighten them out into straighter sections. A couple of pairs of pliers, you can do this stuff, you know, it uh, goes pretty easy. We're going to save this plastic handle just in case. And I just want to basically straighten out sections, because these are what we're going to form our fingers and our thumb out of. So you just want to make them as straight as possible. They ain't got to be perfect again. Cut the little ends off. Don't need those. But these will be our basic fingers. I got another one here I want to straighten out. Um, I'll stretch that one out too, get the handle off it, and then we can start making our fingers out of these guys. All right, so I got the hand ready. I got my E6000. I'm going to go ahead and fill every finger hole with it. All right, so we went down about an inch. That's why I had the uh, tape kind of marked off on the uh, drill so you wouldn't go too deep. And we're basically just filling all these holes with the uh, E6000. This will hold them for now, or for long term, but I am gonna come back once we get our fingers cut, and I'm gonna put a screw in the top of each knuckle, there we go, to hold it down, to sort of pin it into place. So, now that we got our E6000 in there, we're gonna take our fingers, just gonna jam it in there. All right, now we can go ahead, we got one finger in, and like I said, I think I went like the 530 seconds hole. Um, I don't know if all five gallon buckets are the same, but uh, that's what I used. So I'm gonna basically measure out against my hand. And if you were doing bigger monster hands, you could just upscale this and make it longer. Um, I'm gonna go to about here for my pinky finger. So I'm gonna mark it. I'm gonna cut it. And I'll go, yeah, I'll go a little longer so I can wrap around the end. So maybe I'll shoot past an inch past the stopping point. I'm going to go in the hole again. I'm going to measure this finger. So right there at the little bend. And then I'm going to leave an extra inch to bend over. All right. I'm going to cut this guy. And that's basically going to be the formation of our hands. Uh, we've got enough for our finger and then a, a little bit at the end to bend over. I'm gonna fill up all five fingers, get them all cut, and then we'll come back and we'll start doing some finger sections on this thing. All right, so I got all the wire bucket uh, handle glued into the hands. They're kind of gluing up, had kind of a uh, epic fail. My whole E6000 tube busted open in the back. So I don't know how the hell I'm gonna fix that. So that's kind of shitty. So E6000, you guys better get on that and fix that crap. All right. At least got enough glue out of there. Uh, okay. Hand wires are glued in. I got a couple of set screws in there, kind of biting them into place until all this glue dries. You can leave them in or take them out, it don't matter. But here's the easiest part to this tutorial. You guys gotta find yourself a jump rope. These things are all over the place, kids got them. Sorry, baby girl, daddy owes you a shiny new uh, jump rope. Mm. All right. You can even use the center section maybe, that's kind of cool. All right, we're gonna use these is our fingers. They're plastic, they can be outside. It's not gonna hurt anything. You know, if you do foam latex hands, they're gonna break down over the years, which kind of sucks. Um, and good quality hands are a couple hundred dollars. Nobody wants to spend that money for uh, sitting outside for a couple of months. So what I plan to do is take these and make finger bones out of them. So I know that's Mortimer's hand. I'm gonna slide one down. That's his first finger. Middle joint, that's fine. Get on there. This one's a little shorter. Wait, these guys are wrong. Okay. Yep, going backwards. Okay. And then middle finger. And we're gonna have to cut him. We'll trim him back for the index finger. Boom, okay. What the hell am I doing? Okay, that's middle finger. All right. Then index finger. And then pinky section, pretty small. In fact, one of these makes a whole pinky, so I think if we cut it in half. There goes the other half. We got a pinky section. So I'm gonna use all these jump rope sections I'm going to build these hands out and I'm going to fold the ends over so we have actual capped working hands that you can actually move and bend into place around a prop 
or uh, if you're gonna put a glove on. Now these guys will, uh, will have gloves on his hands, but if you were doing a, a project you had maybe fingerless gloves, you could always put those little witch finger tips on top of them to kind of close them up or whatever. Um, you could corpse them. Uh, these are gonna be gloved hands, so I'm not really too worried about all the detail. I just wanna make them workable so that I can swap hands from year to year if I need to um, and put them on other projects or I can bend the hands in new shape if I decide to use them on something else. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all these little jump rope sections. I'm gonna cut them down, I'm gonna build the hands out and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I bend the fingers over and then we have some actual uh, hands. Okay, so we got our hands. I went ahead and used the bench vise. I cheated, it's kind of pain in the ass using this thick of wire and then bending it over with the uh, needle nose. Uh, if you've got a wire hanger, it'd probably be better. You could just double up and do two layers and screw it right into the hand and glue it in. Uh, if you can still even find wire hangers, they're kind of a pain in the ass to find now. But I've got both hands. Uh, Mortimer's about set. I've got one hand to hold his lantern and one hand to rest on his shovel. I went ahead and put my one inch PVC right in the base and it's just a couple of screws. I could always foam it in later or add some air dry uh, clay or whatever, it don't matter. But uh, as of the options for finishing hands, like I said, you can go ahead and put a glove on right now. You could paint the hand, just rattle can it black to keep the water from swelling up your, uh, your wood. You could brush a coat of uh, Type on 3 over everything, just to kind of waterproof it. Uh, and I figured, you know what, let's do a quick corpsing on one of these hands. You can easily corpse these and build them up. And I got a couple of... Uh, Hobby Lobby bags here, kind of torn up. And this plastic should stretch with these fingers. So that shouldn't hurt anything. Okay, you don't want to cooperate with me. All right, so wrap a couple of fingers. Okay, spin it around, I'll get it stuck in all the other glue get the idea. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap these fingers. I'll wrap the hand. I'll throw the heat gun on it and show you what a quick corpse job looks like on one of the new hands. All right, so I literally just spray bombed the hell out of this thing with glue, threw plastic over everything, jammed a screwdriver between the fingers. Let's heat gun this bad boy. It ain't got to be perfect. It's just one way to finish off and waterproof the wood. You really don't have to take this step. Like I said, you can get by with just painting it or throwing some rattle can on it or whatever. No big deal. And then again, you could always just jam this in a glove. You could actually foam fill it if you wanted to once your hand, your hand locked down in the position you wanted. If you're going to use fingerless gloves, um, like I said, you could use the old uh, little fingertips, the witch fingertips, and use fingerless gloves and just glue them onto the ends of your fingers. There you get in there. But Mortimer's going to have uh, some kind of uh, heavy type gloves on, so he ain't got to be perfect for me. Now that his wrist a little bit. So I will probably go ahead and do the other hand. Um, just so I got two matching ones. So uh, let me see. Let me at least, eh, I'll, I'll probably just throw some paint on them. Let's do that. All right, so I did a little bit of painting. We got one hand bent up. This is Mortimer's hand, will be resting on the shovel. Um, I think I'm gonna find some gloves for him. I'm just gonna fill the fingers with silicone of the gloves and then shove the hand in there and I'll have a forever hand for Mortimer. So that one's corpsed. This one I just painted black. I'll probably do the same thing. I'll silicone a glove, I'll jam it in there. I'll uh, put the lantern in his hand and then I can go ahead and screw around to his arm. It'll accept one inch PVC. So my hands are good to go. Hope you guys are enjoying this. And all we did was maybe use some scrap rope, an old jump rope one of the kids had. And uh, that way we don't have to resort to using this garbage off the internet. Because uh, this thing is just sad. There's no reason this should be sold. It's not even close to being a decent prop. So 12 bucks wasted. But hey, we learned how to make something today. So we got a whole lot better hands instead. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you're hanging in there with all the quarantine BS and everything going on. Uh, if you guys haven't had a chance, watch my brothers in the trio of terror, Vic Springston, and the Weird Kids show. We're doing daily content until this stuff kind of uh, peters off and everything's kind of back to normal. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. 
Hope you guys got something out of this. Maybe you can make your own hands. And if you do, share them on the Cobwebs and Candlesticks uh, Facebook page. I want to see what you guys are building down in all this uh, downtime we have. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.